Hello friends, this video limits and derivatives part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Limit is used when we want to find the value of a function near to some value. We want to find the value of a function near to some value. I'll take an example. For example, this is the graph here. This is a graph. fx is equal to x square minus 9 by x minus 3. So if you plot this graph, this graph is nothing but if you see x square minus 9, I can say x plus 3 into x minus 3 and this by x minus 3. This is fx. So when x is not equal to 3, I can cancel this. So this becomes fx is equal to x plus 3 when x is not equal to 3. And this becomes the whole thing that is x square minus 9 by x minus 3 when x is equal to 3. This is the, this is the equation we have. Now let's plot this. x is equal to 0, this is not equal to 3, y is equal to 3 plus 1 that is 4. Correct? x is equal to 1, uh, 3 plus 0 that is 3. x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3 plus 1, 4. 4. x is equal to 2, y is equal to this one x is equal to 3, this is 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And this is 1, 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5. Similarly, x is equal to minus 1, you get value of 2, you get this, this is minus 1, x is equal to minus 2, you get 1, x is equal to minus 3, you get 0. This is the graph you get, but x is equal to minus 3, this condition is not true x is equal to minus 3, you put this value, you get x square minus 9, that is 9 minus 9, 0 by 0, it's infinity. So this is the uh, x is equal to minus 3, this value is not defined. So graph will be of this form actually, till x is equal to 3, this is defined, but x is equal to 3, it is not defined, this will be the graph. So here if you see at x is equal to 3, this value is not defined. So if I want the value of f of x, that is f of 3, that is nothing but not defined, not defined. But if I want to find the value very, very near to 3, that is 2.999999, this value or 3.00001, here if you see the value at 2.9999 is not infinity. Also, the value at 3.0001 is not infinity because in that case we can use this equation x plus 3. So if you see value at 2.999999 is equal to 2.9999 plus 3 because we can use this equation. So this becomes 5.99999. Similarly, the value of equation at 3.00001 is equal to 3.000001 whatever how many zeros I put here plus 3 that is 6.00001 so if you see the value of this function very near to 3 is different from the value of function at 3 correct both are different the value of function very near to 3 is either 5.99999 or 6.0001 or we can say that is almost equal to 6, right? The value of function very, very near to 3 is 6. But the value of function at 3 is what? Undefined. So there is a difference. The, there is a difference between f of 3 and f of near 3. That is f of 2.9999 and f of 3.0001. There is a difference. So such kind of study we do in limit. So to find the value of this function very very near to 3 we use limit correct so the notation is something like that we will say limit x is near to 3 and we say fx this is the notation we used for limit since in, in this case we had 3 so we have used 3 in general formula we will say a a can be any value 1 or 2 or 3 so in our case it was 3 so we have put 3 here this is the notation for limit and limit is used only when we want to find the value of function very very near to 3. This is one example where the value of the function very near near to 3 is different from the value at 3. 
but if you let's suppose if you take the value of uh, value here zero or one let's take one so here f of one is four one plus three is equal to four and f of value very near near to four one is suppose one point zero zero one that will also be almost same that is one point zero 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 one sorry one more zero plus one plus three that is four point zero 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 one so here if you see four and four point zero zero one almost same if you take the negative side also the right side also left side also that value you get 0.9999 f of 0.999 that is uh, 0.9999 plus 3 that is 3.9999 so this value is also almost similar to equal to 4 so it's always not that the value of function very near to a value and the value of function exactly at that value is different here if you see function value at 1 and near to 1 are all same but in case of 3 the value of this function at 3 and near to 3 are different the point i'm trying to derive here is limits are used when you want to find the value of the function near to some value not exactly at some value but near to some so let's define the limits once again so we have something called left hand limit and right hand limit i'll explain for example this is a function so let's suppose this the same function will take or i will take different function so let's take one function which says fx is equal to uh, let's suppose 5 when x is not equal to 2 and fx is equal to infinity when x is equal to or let's suppose this is this is fx equal to x fx is equal to x when x is not equal to 2 and fx is equal to infinity when x is equal to 2 so this function will be something like this x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 this is 1, this is 2, this is minus 1, minus 2 but fx x is equal to 2, this is infinity this value is not defined so we will have function like this this will be the function, the straight line yeah this will be the value of the function and this is this function this is the function where fx is equal to x when x is not equal to 2 so this is like this and fx is equal to infinity when x is equal to 2 so at x is equal to 2 this is not defined now the left hand limit is what is the value of this f2 that is f2 minus so i'm talking about 1.999 so when I'm taking left hand limit, so I'm talking about something f of 1.99999. That is, when I'm trying to approach this function from the left hand side, what is the value I get? Similarly, when I'm talking about right, right hand limit, I'm talking about value something of this form 2.0001. Because when I'm trying to approach this function from right hand side, what is the value I get? So this is the typical example of left hand limit and right hand limit. Left hand limit is this is the function and at, at f is equal to 2 I am trying to approach f is equal to 2 from left hand side that is value of f is equal to 2 near to 2 but from left hand side that is 1.999 or 1.998 or 1.901 anything that is less than 2 but near to 2 that is left hand limit. Right hand limit is for f of 2 is anything that is near to 2 but greater than 2 that is from right hand side so that is f of 2.001 or 2.002 or 2.0015 also any any value any value that is near to 2 anything in this range anything that is near to 2 and that is from the right hand side and for left anything that is near to 2 from the left hand side so you got the difference left hand limit and right hand left hand limit of a function at a is f of a that where a is near near to this value similarly here for example and for in this case we will write limit of x is equal to 2 minus right and fx that will be nothing but f of let's suppose 1.9999 this is nothing but limit of 2 minus fx Similarly, when I say limit of x of 2 plus and fx, this is nothing but f of 
2.0001 or any value I can take 2.0002 or f of 2.0015 any value that is near to 2 but from the right hand side these values are nothing but limit of x 2 plus fx and this guy is limit x 2 minus fx so this is called left hand limit where you try to get the value of the function the left hand side anything that is near to this a and here a is 2 anything that is near to a from the left hand side and right hand limit you try to find the value of this from right hand side also please note in case where left hand limit is almost equal to right hand limit that is left hand is equal to right hand almost right hand then we say that limit exists for example in this case left hand limit is 1.9999 and right is 2.001 both are almost same both are almost equal to 2 so we can say that left hand limit n is equal to right hand limit and that is equal to 2 so in such case limit exists in case where the left hand limit value which we get is not equal to right hand limit value so in that case we see that limit doesn't exist we'll show you some examples where the left hand limit will not be equal to right hand limit and in such case we see that limit is not defined for this function at that point thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again